The double exposure effect looks really awesome, really cinematic, it's really cool, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do it. Hey, what's up? It's Chris from Rooker Films, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to do the double exposure effect in music videos. Now, when you're filming this footage, you first want to begin by making sure that you mount it to a tripod. If you're moving around, then this just isn't going to work, so make sure that your camera is mounted to a tripod and your shot is static. Now, from here, you want to place your subject in front of a white wall. So this could be just a random white wall outside, and then you want to try and remove as much light from your subject as is physically possible. So if you're inside, then make sure that no light is spilling onto your subject. You want to try and make sure that they're as silhouetted as physically possible. Now, once you have this footage, we just need to get this onto the computer and then we need to load up Adobe Premiere Pro in order to do this effect. So once we're inside of Adobe Premiere Pro, we want to begin by creating a brand new sequence and we just want to rename this to Double Exposure and just make sure this is 1920 by 1080 with a frame rate of around 23.976 frames per second. And then from here, we can just go into our finder and we can just import the video of us on the background. And then we can just drop that into the sequence. And then I'm just going to go into the effects tab and I'm just going to adjust the scale and the positioning of this just to make sure that it's framed up the way that we want. And now in effects, I'm just going to go and search for levels. I'm going to drop the levels on top of the video. And then I'm going to make sure that the white is really popping by pulling up the white input level and I'm going to really silhouette the person so I'm going to pull up the black input level to around 70%. And as you can see there is a real contrast between the subject and the background and this is what we need in order to complete this effect. However before we progress I'm just going to get rid of this audio because we really don't need this so I'm just going to go through and select unlink. I'm going to select all of the audio layers we can just delete those. So from here I'm just going to pull the video up onto video layer 2. And I'm just going to go into the finder and import our image. So we'll just have that on video layer one. And now hiding the video, we need to go through and we just need to adjust the positioning and the scaling of this image. We can turn the video layer back on once we're happy with that. And now selecting the video layer, we can go into the opacity and change the blending mode from normal to screen. And there you go. That is the double exposure music video effect now complete. However, to progress from here, I'm going to add some movement. So I'm going to create a new keyframe on the scale and the position, scroll across a few frames, and I'm going to increase the scale to around 100. And we'll just fix the positioning up just to make sure that we can see the Eiffel Tower really coming through. So if we play that back, you can see the scale of this video is now increasing. And then we have this image bleeding through. And that is the double exposure effect. We can do the same thing again with video. We don't need to do this with still images. So this is a video of a sunset in a field. We'll adjust the scale of that. And if we play this back, there you go. That is the double exposure music video effect now complete. If you enjoyed watching this video, then please do let me know in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe and push that bell icon to stay updated on all future uploads. Thank you ever so much for watching. I really do truly appreciate it. I hope you're having the most incredible day today. I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.